Good morning, guys. I'm here with Casey. It's day two for him. He had a very good night. He was awesome in his crate. Um, as you can see, I have the muzzle off him right now. I feel very, very comfortable with him right now. Um, when things get more intense and there are other dogs, you know, when we work other dogs in to try and get the excitement level um, higher, because that's when he makes his mistakes, we'll put the muzzle back on. But for right now, he's doing really good. He's learning place. So the place command is, you can see the pet cot right now is flipped upside down because he's very uh, leery of it and doesn't want to get on it unless it's flipped over. And that's perfectly normal and fine um, on day two. So I'm just incorporating his food. He's being hand fed by me right now. Um, we're building food drive in him so that we can do um, this can be very motivating for him during um, during our training sessions. We will not always be using food, but for right now we are, and that's how he's getting fed. Um, he's been really good with his bunk mate Finn. Um, just overall, been you know super good boy, learning very fast. And I'll show you Finn if I can. I can't give him too much space right now, in case he stay, because he's just learning the place command. So just let me give you an idea of what the place command is. Place means go to your pet cot and stay there until I say break. It's like the magic carpet, the meditation, the yoga mat, where you put your dog there, no matter what's going on in the house, even with the other dogs and the children and all that, if there's a lot of activity, your dog has to stay there. And the, what we're doing is building their impulse control. So Casey, his mind gets way ahead of himself when you know there's a lot of excitement and then his, um, you know, best option at the moment is to nip people. Um, he doesn't break skin, but he, he does bite them. Um, and he does leave bruises and marks and things like that, but he's never broken skin as far as I know. Um, but right now this is building in impulse control. And once a dog has impulse control, they then have the ability over time. And I'm talking like, even after this dog comes home, you guys are gonna have to be on top of you know, really following the instructions that I send you. I'm gonna send you a bunch of videos today. I want you, the whole family, to watch these videos between now and when Casey comes home. Um, I want you to be learning along with him, so follow his progress on Facebook and Instagram, and watch those videos, and I will send you the go-home instructions. They will seem very strict, and that's because my program is structured. The success is in the structure. Whenever we have a dog who's got issues, behavior issues, it's a lot of times because there's lack of structure. People just didn't know, they didn't realize that giving their dog too much freedom, no crate time, no place time, not asking or demanding things of them um, causes them to kind of spiral out of control. And it's like an anarchy. They're like, oh my God, I just, you know, I'll just go crazy. Dogs need structure and they thrive on it and they look to us for guidance. If we're not there guiding them, guess what? They make their own decisions and his decisions, quite frankly, they stink. We don't want dogs who use their teeth even though he's a really sweet dog and a nice dog and he doesn't mean anything by it, the thing is this, if he were ever given to a rescue, it would be known that he's a biter because you have to disclose that to a rescue, right? So guess what? How much time do you think they're gonna put into training him properly um, to get him past this behavior? They're not. He would be on the, the short list of, you know what? You know, most people are not gonna take a dog who bites, so he's gonna be on the short list. He's not gonna be on the list to be trained, by someone who's qualified using an e-collar, they're gonna put him with a pure positive trainer and that's not gonna fix things. So, um, you know, dogs who bite usually don't make it. So we, we really wanna make this behavior a thing of the, his past. Um, and I'll be giving you the recipe for that and tell you throughout training, like what you need to do to get his best behavior and set yourselves up for success because that's what it's really about is you guys succeeding with him when he comes home. Um, so as you can see, I'm moving farther away from him because I just wanna show Finn who's in his crate right now. So he, if you can tell, Finn is super, he's, he's panting right now because this is hard for him when there's another dog out being worked. Finn wants to be out with them. Uh, but he's also really tired because we just had a, a, a high quality training session for over an hour. He had a really nice walk. His nose takes over on the walk. So um, Finn's owners are really gonna be, you know, utilizing the e-collar quite a bit on those walks because 
Um, he's easily distracted due to his nose because he's a hound. So e collar is extremely effective with that. We started working in recall today, um, shaping his heel, meaning he's walking very nicely at my side. Um, and that's just something that we're going to continue to be working on on the daily with him because he's a difficult dog to walk because he's, he's always scenting and on, on a trail of something. So, but he's, he's going to be a dream to walk when he comes home. Nothing like he used to be at all. So that's really awesome. His place command is coming along. He can actually be on place for an hour on a back tie and no issues, like hardly any whining. The thing about the whining is you're going to want to correct that. Um, you know, when he comes home, whenever there's whining, that's a state of mind thing. So you do need to correct that. And the easiest way and best way to correct whining is with the e-collar. You just, it's like, you just give him a, some stem with a red button and tell him to knock it off. No, Casey, place. So let me move back on over to Casey before he loses his concentration because he's a newbie. So me over there yapping about Finn is not helping Casey. Okay, buddy. So sit. Nope. Sit. Good. I'm going to leave it at that, and I uh, hope you guys have a great Sunday. Go Eagles! Right? Go Eagles!